Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. It has been a couple of weeks since I played around with cassettes, but guys, look what I found. This is a stamp set from Globeland on Amazon and stop it now if it is not a bundle of cassettes. This is the little beauty that caught my eye. Now there's some gorgeous images on here with like the buttons, a stop, fast forward, pause and all of that. And there's also like a vintage camera and some other cassettes with flowers around them as well but it was the tiny little cassette over in the corner that really caught my eye and I just thought would make the most perfect either fridge magnets, key rings, earrings, necklaces, you name it, you could do it. This is what it's looking like. It is a beauty. It got me so excited. Now, I thought I'd moved on from cassette tapes, but this came up on my Amazon and, uh, you know, I had to do it. Now, first up, I immediately knew I wanted to play with polymer clay. It has been a while. It has been a while. I love nothing more than clay. Like, I know I do resin and jesmonite, but clay is so therapeutic, it is unreal. So I am using Fimo Soft Polymer Clay. I'm using the rubber stamp and I'm also using my Stays On Permanent Black Ink. Now the reason I chose black ink is because A, most cassette tapes were black. B, I just thought it would be a gorgeous stark contrast on the bright yellow and coral color polymer clay with the black ink. Now, I'll talk more about that as the video progresses. First up, I've laid my rubber stamp down on my stamping block. Now, if you are new here, hi, my name's Claire and I'm not very good at polymer clay. I love polymer clay, um, but I'm definitely not a polymer clay professional. So if you've got any hints, tips and tricks, do let me know. Um, yeah, my first stamp didn't go well. So I soon learned that there's definitely a knack to pressing the stamp down onto the polymer clay, like a certain level of harshness. I don't want to press too hard. I don't want to press too soft. But I did start to enjoy this kind of retro faded look. So if part of the stamp didn't quite make it, I was okay with that. I, I actually preferred that over a very, very dark cassette tape print. I hope that makes sense, but definitely personal preference. Now, if you are wondering, I am working on a white tile. This is a bathroom tile left over from our new bathroom last year. I'm working on the tile because the tile can go straight into the oven and it's just beautiful with polymer clay. Now, the two colors I chose were bright yellow and bright coral. Um, Hindsight is a wonderful thing and I said I'd talk more about it but I feel like using the black ink was, I had intentions of, of this contrast but actually I, I don't know if it was the right decision. Let me know your thoughts already and whether the black ink is too much and I don't know if it's because the stamp itself is so totally detailed, it's stunning, it's got every little detail that you could imagine being on a cassette tape and I think the black overpowered somehow the black kind of overpowered so could I have used a different color ink maybe um do I have many others not really <laughs> I don't really have many others equally I think it's ever so ever so cool listen to me being all grown up it's very cool I absolutely love the image um I just kept going I don't want to bore you which is why I've kind of sped these sections up you don't really need to see me roll out my polymer clay in real time and stamp every single one that I made but you kind of get the gist now one thing I did do to make them all completely equal depth was to lay down two wooden lollipop sticks either side of my polymer clay so that my rolling pin can quite happily glide over the surface of those lollipop sticks and my polymer clay would never be be deeper than it is like they'd all be identical prior to stamping my image down the other thing I learned is that alcohol works really well on polymer so if there was an image that I didn't like or I'd splodged it or I'd smudged it then I could just rub alcohol over the top so isopropyl alcohol 
rub it over the surface and it got rid of the ink in a heartbeat and left absolutely no residue which is incredible i just used my polymer clay tools to cut them at the beginning i used a craft blade and no that was not the one so definitely use the tools that they are designed to be used with i put these in the oven straight on the tile which is so helpful and i baked them as per instructions and this is a few hours later they are fully dried fully cured and very cold they are back to room temperature they are cooked basically they are ready for their uv resin top coat and it was really at this point i thought they just look dull to me they don't i think i was expecting real brightness you know bright colors and even though you can still see the cassette tape you can see that they are cassette tapes i don't know if the actual rubber stamp design was too much for a small piece like this like it would be beautiful on a card it would be absolutely gorgeous in scrapbooking and all of that but I don't know if I don't know I don't know what it is that I am not obsessed with but I'm definitely not obsessed and I don't know if it's just because there's more black than there is coral am I making sense to anyone does anyone feel what I feel um Equally, I still think they're very cool. They're very, very cool. And they do still fill me with all of those nostalgic feelings of what it was like to record from the radio on your cassette tape and the DJ would speak over the song. So you'd miss the beginning or you'd miss the end because they'd come in. You weren't quick enough to press stop. You know, it, it fills me. It fills me with all of those nostalgic feelings. So that was the aim of the game here. But again, I prefer the faded out print like this one where it didn't quite fully print. So it's not so dark. Definitely my favourites. Now, like I said, I'm not very, I'm not a polymer clay professional. So if anyone can help me here, you can see them curling up. They didn't curl curl, but some of the edges were starting to curl up. Now, is that because the clay wasn't baked enough or is that because I put too much UV resin on? Can you let me know in the comment section down below, please? Um, it's not the first time I've had polymer clay curing on me. Is it the brand? Is it human error that maybe I didn't cook them for long enough? But yeah, do let me know in the comment section because that will also help everyone else out who's watching this video and wants to give this a go as well. Now, like I've mentioned in previous videos, especially with the, the shrink plastic, I don't pre-cut my holes. I like to drill my holes afterwards. That's just to make it easier to give them a UV resin top coat as well. But once that was done, I was able to add my little jump rings, add my key rings. And again, I won't show you me making each and every one of these because again, that's long. But I think they came out absolutely adorable. I think I've said it before, hindsight is a wonderful thing. If I was to do this again, I think I would use a different color ink lighten them up a bit i just think maybe they're a bit too dark equally i think they'd make really cool fridge magnets let me know what you think i think they're a bit too big for earrings um a bit too heavy i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below are you feeling what i'm feeling validate me <laughs> that's why we're on validate me please tell me my feelings are valid um no jokes aside i prefer the yellows over over the corals because for me, the corals aren't as bright as I wanted them to be. I hope I'm making sense. All of my negative feelings to one side, the stamp is beautiful. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. They've come out just as retro vintage, although that hurts. But <laughs> after all, the 80s was only 10 years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.